I think CEOs and CXOs need to have more courage, more boldness in their activities. I think maybe 2009, with the environment we're in, may demand this, this courage. I think they're going to have to start to think about disseminating decision making down the food chain within organisations. They're going to have to start to look at creating an environment of trust and accountability rather than command and control because it doesn't work these days, it never really has worked. Uh, people have simply accepted it. I think CEOs need to start to broaden their understanding of business processes and start to permeate that into decision making environment, how investment decisions are made, uh, how they manage projects. Often managers think when they do a project they subconsciously outsource it uh, to the project team. That's not fair and if the project fails obviously it's the project manager's fault. That's totally unfair. If the project fails it's the business's fault uh, probably more so than, than the project team. Those sort of things have to be start to be thought about and addressed. Look, human beings make things happen. Systems don't. Processes don't. Processes only happen with human beings. We need to recognise them as being human beings and treat them as such. If we treated our, our partners, our children, like we treat many of the people inside our organisations, there'd be a revolt. There'd certainly be a lot more divorces inside organisations um, and people vote with their feet. They, they simply leave. 2009 probably means the environment people in survival mode, they'll probably stay and put up with a lot more than they, they ought to. But people will vote with their feet when the recovery starts to happen.